you know, meeting all these crazy people and crazy things happening. And so we started writing about, okay, what happens to the girls? Guys talk to them, bad scene. And then we started thinking about, well, what about all the girls' parts? Because Pum is French for Apple is the title of the show. Yeah. Pum is also West Indian slang for a woman's private part. So it's got a little bit of a double entendre. And so what happens is we go into the show and we talk from the So I guess I shouldn't go into like a Jamaican uh, uh, store and order some Pum. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could, you could. If you got you, you you any, any bomb? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> it's true. It does depend what kind of store. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, that's what it is. It's a, it's a whole, it's a look. It's a fast-paced ride, and it's just a look at all the stuff that happens to women, the embarrassing moments, the fun moments, the good moments, the bad moments. And there's there's some some seriousness in there as well, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, it, um, it, not in in terms of lecturing, but yeah. I mean, you you I I can see that by some of the things that you talk about, that there's there's pain involved in it. It's like the the disappointment of of uh, disappointment. That's a big one. <laughs> yes, yes. And the truth, you know, yeah. the voicing things that people often don't say, but you know, but we experience. Uh huh. You know. Um, now, have you done this show prior to uh, your show next week? Has it been done anywhere else? Yes, uh, we first premiered it, uh, just sort of workshopped it one night at the Young Center mm -hmm. um, in December of 2010. 2010. And, uh, and then we did a three night run at Cinecycle in August. Um, and it was yeah, all sold out, sold out and sold out. people seemed to love it. So, uh, so then we brought it back. We make some changes. The thing about the show is that always we always add new things and take some things out, and so it always evolves. Mm -hmm. And uh, our pump stays fresh. Yes, freshness is a must. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's so many doors marked dangerous. Do not open right now. You know what's interesting about this? Liza's family. And I've known Liza since she was a zygote. <laughs> and so this is pretty... A zygote? Yeah. What is that? An egg. An egg. <laughs> but Am I missing... Why have I never heard that word before? <laughs> but for all of us, it was a surprise when she said, Yeah, you guys got to come and see my show. Uh, I've done a comedy show. And we're going, what kind of comedy show would Liza do? And then when she sprung this on us, we went, what? <laughs> But it's cute. You know what's good about it? It's like my dad can come to the show. Yeah. And it's like it's crazy, but it's not explicit. It's not r like vulgar. It's just the truth, you know? It's, exactly. It's yeah. always rooted in truth, so people, you know, they yeah. enjoy it for that. Yeah. But, but a, a, lot of, uh, a lot of parents of young women, especially the fathers, would not necessarily be that comfortable uh, no. watching this performance. You kind of <laughs> no, get into some of those not. areas where it's like, oh my God, my daughter. <laughs> Like when you're when you're faking moaning and groaning song, <laughs> sounds, I can just see a father sitting there going, "Oh God, don't don't put that picture in my head for God's sake." Why is that so cool? Like that? I'm like, oh my God, I'd be so like, I'd be so embarrassed by it. Yeah, well, it's like it's like some fathers. It's like their daughter poses in in Penthouse or Playboy, and they take the magazine to work and go, "Look at my daughter. Oh my God, I'm so proud of her." <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think this is a little bit different than that. We wear clothes. In the yes, show. I know. I, I wasn't trying to do yeah. that. <laughs> but they do have, they have, I hope we have time for their song. She says they have a few bars of this song they like to sing for us, too. What is this song about? Um, it's about freedom. It's liberation, yeah. really. And yeah. do you need Bill's accompaniment? Oh, no, no, not no, at all. No, no, it's a cappella. Oh, okay. Do you want to do it now? How long is it? Uh, maybe 30 short. seconds. Oh, okay, sure. You, you well, ready for it? Yeah, of course I am. <laughs> kind of sums things up. Okay. <laughs> Take off your panty. Just free up yourself. Take off your panty. It good for your health. Breeze out your pom pom. Just make it breathe. Air out your crutches. Let pom be free. Let pom be free. Let pom be free. I've enjoyed working here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the two of you have, you have very beautiful voices. I think it's like, sick. Is it, I don't even know what the hell to say after that. That's very well done. I, 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 it's a metaphor of some sort, isn't it? <laughs> Is there a, a lot of uh, singing in, 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 the, in the play? We 
do we do keep it musical. We like yeah. it like that, liven it up a little bit. Because mm -hmm. also it's about stuff that we would like to see. Because typically theater, you, you think about it in the dark room, silence, no fun at all. But this is really, like it's vibes. It's like a party where the entertainment, you come, you chill, you have a drink, and you laugh. Right. And then no party is complete without music. So. Because it even says, <laughs> arrive early to enjoy the island ambience, complete with Uncle Bunny's famous rum punch mm. and sweet reggae vibes. Yeah, mm. after our last event, we, we always serve Uncle Bunny's famous rum punch. And after the last one, somebody tweeted about it. It was like, damn that Uncle Bunny's rum punch. Like, it's strong. You have it's to be deceptive careful. It's deceptively strong. Yeah, yeah. Is, is there, who is Uncle Bunny? My dad's brother. Yeah, your dad's brother. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I thought it was going to be like another one of those euphemisms. <laughs> <laughs> It's a family thing. Yeah. Her, her father has uh, <laughs> such a great history of music in Canada and reggae. And we should discuss that too, because this is where this kind of rooted between her and Jesse, my son, and all these families, all this cultural, new cultural stuff has come from that. From all right, kids. well, we'll do that when we come back. Yeah. It's twelve fifteen at News Talk ten ten. First, a look at time saver traffic. Well, we're up right now on the four hundred one. That was funny.